Come on, guys. At least some of you can make it. Oh, 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 oh my. Oh, no. Here they come, boys. Here they come. Here's the clash in the middle. Well, we have it, everybody. It was going to come at some point, but I didn't think it would be this early. The very first ever Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord mod. And someone has gone into the files and created a mod for the Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. It's called Battle Test, and it's basically custom battles for Bannerlord. Now, it's very janky and very early since, you know, they've made it out of the beta, which I'm sure as soon as Tail World see this video, they may take it down. Tail World, if you're watching this, please don't do that. This is amazing. It's a lot of fun. Let, let us have our fun. But we're going to be going in and we're going to be testing it today. And then, if you guys want to see some interesting battles, make sure you leave in the comments. Who do you want me to pitch up against each other? And I'll do those videos in the future. But as you can see, this is what we get at the start. You have a player count that you can put, put up to uh, anything. But we're, we're going to start... We're going to start... 200. Let's start 200. What you normally get in a Mountain Blade Warband battle. Let's start with that. That'll probably be, you know, safe. Now, you can change how many soldiers are per row. So, at the moment, they're in two lines. Let's put 50 per row so we can get a few rows in there so it's a bit bit bigger. So, we can play as my character. Uh, let's be who are known for good cavalry. The Kurzates could be pretty good. Or the Empire, actually. Let's play as Cataphract as the Empire. I mean, they spelt player wrong. Great. This is a mod. So, my guys will be... We'll be cavalry. We'll do a big cavalry battle to start with, I think. As we're Empire, we'll make our guys Empire as well. Cataphracts, lovely. The enemies, who we'll put as Sturgia. So, you can put free camera, but I'm going to play as the Cataphract, I think, this time. Don't you worry. I definitely didn't press back instead of start. They put them the wrong way around, and that's it's really disconcerting. It's fine. And we are in. Oh, my God. Here we have. Guys, charge. Guys, guys, charge. Get you might want to get your spears out. Guys, guys, no, get your spears out. Oh, it is a slaughter. But actually, we have the better cavalry, so I think we might be able to get away with this. It's quite hard to tell who's on my team, but look at the horses. That will probably be our best, our best bet. And funnily enough, I'm still getting decent FPS, even though there's currently 400 units on the battlefield at this time. I mean, it'll be easier as time goes on. At the moment, it's running pretty smoothly. Oh my word, look at that kill feed. We are completely destroying the enemy team, though. Sturgia are not known for their cavalry, and we have some pretty heavy cataphracts, which, in the sort of close combat sort of style that we've got going here, is, is pretty, pretty decent for us. I don't know what's over there. I'm gonna go and have to check that out at some point. Let's, let's kill some of these horses. We seem to have mopped them up pretty decently if i'm gonna be honest are they all dead i think they're all dead i think that is a victory to us hell yeah just uh kill some of these horses let's go and survey the land and the dead bodies let's put our weapon away oh my so we do have some dead guys here but these definitely mostly seem to be enemies i love how corpses stay around as well i'm sure there's a setting where you can decide how many corpses do but that's nice that's nice Okay, we have seen a massive cavalry battle now, but I think I want to put the player count up. We're going to put a thousand troops on the screen, but they're not going to be horses because I think that's going to be pretty, pretty intense. So we're going to put infantry in and I'm thinking peasants, peasants. Well, I want to play as a sergeant because I don't want to die. Actually, I want to play as a, a, a cavalry knight. There we go. Lovely. But we're going to put these guys as peasant levy of Volandia and they're going to be up against... Um, <laughs> Kurzate's rebels. Oh my god. <laughs> Charge, men! Let's go! This is incredible. Look at them all. Oh, here they come. Here comes the column. Here comes the column. You can see the officers on the side of the column. And let's see the clash in the middle. Whoa. Whoa. Here we go. Here comes the clash. And there it goes. <laughs> That's such an anticlimactic. I don't think Troop AI has really been put in in Battle Lords yet, so they're all just sort of initial Rome Total War 2 it, just sort of ramming at each other and then slowly spreading outwards. Oh my, I seem to be winning this. I don't know why my side, maybe I'm just picking the better guys, if I'm going to be honest. You can see in the bottom though, they have added like crushing through now, so if you have a lot of guys, you can just, just bash, you know, just bash, oh, just bash, just bash straight through. Oh my god, it's just a sea. Just crush through them all. Oh, I've lost speed. I've lost speed. I've lost speed. 
Oh, some of them are coming for me. I don't like that. I'm going to have to kill them now. Oh, we've got some splitter offers on the pack. Oh, the blood is everywhere. We seem to be pushing them back. It's becoming a bit of a slaughter. Go on, man. Just a few stabs in there every now and then. A few stabs in there. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's get in there. Oh, beautiful. This is brutal. This is horrendously brutal. I love it. Now, Volandian sharpshooters. This is going to be interesting. I think these guys are crossbowmen. So, yeah. And here we have what I assume... Oh, yeah, other crossbowmen. And the kills are starting to come in already. This is... This is absolutely brutal. Go on, guys. At least some of you can make it. Oh, my. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> It's a slaughter. It's a slaughter. Will any of them make it to the crossbow line? Oh, God. The crossbows do take time to reload, but with this amount, I don't think it's really much of an issue, and none of them made it. This poor guy was like, oh, he's got the bolts gone straight through him. You know, I thoroughly enjoyed that. So we're going to try that again, but with archers. What are these guys going to be? Obviously, they're not going to have the range, and I'm assuming not quite the accuracy. They definitely don't have the armor, so if these guys get close, then it's going to be an issue. But they're going to be able to shoot faster. They're going to have a higher shot rate. But, oh my god, the headshots are so brutal. Oh, this guy's, this guy's still alive. Oh, he's taking two arrows. Oh, the third one took him down, though. Oh, no. Oh, but they're reaching them. They're reaching them because these guys don't have the range that the crossbowmen did. The peasants have got to the front line. The peasants have... Oh, the tide's going to turn. Here comes the brutal battle. Oh, but it looks like actually the hunters have better weapons anyway. Oh, my. I think the hunters are actually able to take them out. Now, for the final battle, it has to be 1,400 men all on the battlefield at the same time. The legionaries of the empire versus the oath-bound troops of the Batanians, a battle that has raged in the ages through Britannia and the Empire, of course, echoing the history of Rome and Britain. Let's see who will win. Legionaries versus oath-bound. And here we have the, uh, what looks to be the legionaries on this side of the Empire. And here come the oath-bound once again, coming through. Okay, so really on free camera, it seems to run a lot better the previously uh or when you're actually playing but let's see when they actually clash here they come boys here they come here's the clash in the middle oh it is brutal the oathbound getting the first kill on the legionaries and seeming to getting oh okay it's pretty even actually the oathbound did have the better start but it's looking to even up but the oathbound seems to be getting way more kills now legionary pulling it back a little bit on this side it looks like the legionaries are being able to push these oathbound back somewhat but the middle looks pretty strong for both sides still we're gonna see who wins by mostly an envelopment i'm guessing whoever wins on the flank is probably gonna become victorious but the oath bound seems to look like they have the advantage here they are enveloping yes as i predicted round on this right side oh my god this is an absolute brutal battle to the death wow yeah okay so the empire as i said have one on this side as well this is a very, very even battle. The Oathbound winning on the left flank. The Empire winning on the right flank with their legionaries. But the Oathbound are coming over now to the middle. Uh, I think they've come over a bit faster than the Empire. So I think as long as these Oathbound can hold off this Empire troop force here, these guys are going to get slaughtered. It looks like it's going the way of the Oathbound at the moment. But these guys are a pretty even matchup. You can see this is a testament to just the balancing that Battle Lords and Tailwoods have actually done with the two best troops of each faction being a pretty even match but one of them the oathbound it seems in this way seems to be getting the upper hand and that was due to being able to get around the back of the empire troops but wow these oathbounds are really holding the empire back they are losing on this side but i think they're holding them back long enough for the oathbound to finish off the empire soldiers in the middle here which yes are getting completely and utterly slaughtered and i think this is going to go towards the oathbound yes as they rush in there supporting their allies they're probably going to be able to get behind the empire now and wow what a battle this has been what an absolute battle but that was 1400 men on the battlefield running simultaneously at the same time i was getting about 50 fps which was pretty good and that is on the max settings as well 
think about the opportunities and the, the things that you can actually do with this custom mod and hopefully eventually the custom game mode when they bring it out i'd love to see some awesome battles but there it is the oath bound of victorious and that is where i'm gonna leave this video so thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed it this is very interesting and i can't wait to do more videos there'll be some more videos coming out very soon i know i haven't uploaded in a while i've really been just i've just not uploaded but now this mod's come out there's gonna be a lot of battle of videos but until then i will see you in the next one